it, not a spring chicken when it comes to looking good and tanned. Well, there's nothing like a day at the beach. So we've got some beach basics for you. Or actually, should we call them sun tanning basics? Now, you're gonna think this is kind of crazy, but one of the first things you need when going to the beach are some thongs. The little thin ones, these are great. They're great for the gym, the beach, and they don't take up much space. But one of the things in going to the beach is, unless you want sand in your shoes, well, you always have to have a pair just in case. A hat, too, always provides, well, some sun protection, some glare protection, and it's always perfect. But for getting that suntan look, well, I brought out some of my favorite things just to share with you. This one by Prescriptive. It's a body potion. This you put on, it gives you a little bit of a sparkle. It makes it look like you've already got a suntan. But if you want that natural glow, because fortunately for me, I tan pretty easily. But these are some basic ones. Jurgens, a natural glow, natural moisturizer, the Sublime from L'Oreal. You can, of course, also buy much more expensive brands if you want. I think Michael Kors has one where it's scented, so you get a scent as well as a glow. And these right here, sunless tanning lotions. Yes, these are great. So, and they're also better. Remember years ago when you used to have like a little bit of an orange tint? No longer. They're much, much better. So right here at the beginning, these are all things you could do on a daily basis or to give you that look of sun tanning. But here, this is when you want to tan, one of my favorites. Now here's a company called Dermanu. They've been out for several years. This is microdermabrasion that you can do at home. Another one, uh, Youthful Essence by Sumerucci. It seems to have one of the earlier formulations by Dermanu. It's the same people, but it costs you less money. This one, L'Oreal. This is also microdermabrasion you can get at home. Yes, because with a little bit of exfoliation, just like with Sally Hansen or L'Oreal, um, but basically what you're doing with the sunless scrub or the microdermabrasion is giving the tan a really good base to go ahead and tan on. Because if your skin and the texture is baby soft and smooth, you're going to tan a lot better. Than a, well, your skin is just going to be a lot better. And well, isn't part of having a tan and beautiful skin so that somebody wants to touch it? Okay, so then we go to lotion. Now remember, this is suntan lotion. There's also suntan oils, which they used to do many years ago, which basically like an SPF 2 or SPF 4 to give you a tan. Well, those didn't really have, well, much sun protection at all. So here's some basic favorites. Sunblock Ultra. This was actually, oh, you notice the target symbol. The new ones have UVA and UVB. It says, oh, actually, it doesn't say on the front. I think it says on, uh, Ultra Sun Black on the back. It says provides UVA and UVB protection. Before they just had one of them, now they're realizing that you do need to protect from both um, types of sun. Oh, I, I didn't bring some of them. This one is water and sweat resistant. So if you're going in the water, you have to make sure of that one. Here's another one. This, this is. This is an ultra sheer one. This one is really great because on your face, you don't want it to be really, um, well, really, really thick. There's also some formulations just for your face. Aveeno makes some great ones, um, as well as some other companies. Here's another one. This is Oils Free Sport Extreme Sunblock. This is the 30, here's 50. They even go up higher than that. Actually, this one also has Parcel 1789, which protects against premature aging. I know. So you can go out, play, have fun, and not worry so much. And then after your tan, you do always, this is one of those basics that I like to keep, aloe vera gel, because even with all the sun protection, getting everything ready, this helps to cool your skin, especially if you get a little bit of sunburn. Now remember to moisturize and moisturize at home because you want to keep that tan and you want to keep your skin feeling nice and smooth. You don't want it to be leathery. But here's some daily basics. Actually, this one, this is just a, a sunscreen. This one's for your lips. You can also use it, well, for your face, on your ears. Ears usually get sunblock too, or sunburnt also. This is an SPF 30. 
by Lancome, and then of course, the regular lotion. There's SPF that you can get regular in your lotion, your foundation, and all of those things. A lot of them don't just have the SPF, but they don't block against UVA and UVB. But this one right here is probably one of the better ones by L'Oreal. I know. I can also come up with many more expensive brands, but you know, for most of us, I think this will work just fine. Whether you want to look just tan by putting sunless tanning lotion on, or if you want a perfect tan or near perfect tan, okay, you can go ahead and exfoliate through the microdermabrasion, sunblock, and all of that. But if you want a perfect tan, you can of course always go to the sun tanning boats. Or, better yet, get a spray tan on. Because one of the things I was always curious about, and you can tell I, I haven't had a spray tan recently, is because my arms, because I'm out, are darker than the rest of my body, which doesn't get quite as much sun. It's like, how do you make it look so even? Because, you know, you see those ads, and they look all gorgeous, and you know, they want to look like they were out in the sun, and they could lay out all this time. A spray tan works just great. It goes on, it's just a little cool. You have to know wait for it to dry but miraculously when they put it all on don't ask me how they do it but this is where the art of it comes in because it looks like an even tan you have a nice glow but the spray tan lasts yes similar to a real tan I would say because the spray tan starts on and then it gradually goes away and then it kind of exfoliates just like you've gotten a tan right and it just exfoliates off and you know starts peeling even. I know, imagine that. But if you want your tan after you have it to last long, remember, moisturize, moisturize, moisturize. Because if you want to look tan, it takes all of these great products. Oh, and I had to grab my sea bags. Because you always need a great beach bag to throw things in. This one you don't have to worry about getting it dirty or wet. A couple of other staples. This one is by Bamboo Echo Wear. Look how nice and thin this is and glowing. I know, it's nice and thin and soft. And you can spray it with water to help keep you cool. Here's another one by Sunsoul. And this one's great because this one also has some SPF. It also, believe it or not, is supposed to help clear acne. So either of these are great because when you, you know, it's time to go to the beach. You've got your hat on. Mm. Almost. But sometimes, just a little cloth will help. Oh wait, maybe I should put it in my hat. If I get if I get this wet and I put it in my hat, then I'll stay extra cool. Or if you're out, you could wear these as a as a kerchief. Yeah, it'll keep you cool. So just keep them cool. Keep them with you. They're part of the staple that comes to when you're ready for the beach with this looking tan. So this is not a spring tick. Enjoy the summer. All tan. Oh, you can smell it, been out. 